People all over the world want to be a part of the space phenomenon, which is why space travel is so popular right now. Is it true that a Japanese millionaire quit a dating show to join Elon Musk on his space mission and take a girl with him? Has the SpaceX spacecraft, which was launched into space six months ago, finally returned to Earth? Stay put for the latest on the Japanese billionaire who is exiting his love affair with space. SpaceX and NASA delayed four astronauts returning from ISS. High winds in the Gulf of Mexico, near where the capsule is expected to splash down, have forced SpaceX and NASA to postpone a voyage returning astronauts from the International Space Station, ISS. NASA said in a blog post on Sunday, the Crew-2 mission, which was originally slated for Sunday, has been rescheduled for Monday afternoon, shortly after 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. According to SpaceX and NASA's websites, the rescheduled journey will be 12 hours faster than the original. The four-person crew will return return to Earth in 8 hours, rather than the 20 hours planned on Sunday's flight. The time it takes to return from the ISS to Earth in a Crew Dragon spacecraft varies. According to Space, SpaceX's first crew flight, Demo-2, took little over 19 hours to return to Earth in August 2020, while the Crew-1 journey in May lasted about 7 hours. The astronauts will spend less time in special diapers due to a toilet leak in the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule as a result of the reschedule. According According to CNN, Steve Stitch, NASA's commercial crew program manager, previously stated in a press briefing that the four astronauts on the Crew-2 mission will have to rely on undergarments for restroom breaks. This is because, as insiders Morgan McFall Johnson revealed in October, the Crew-2 astronauts discovered a toilet leak in the SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule, which has been docked at the ISS since it carried the crew there in April. According to a space article, the toilet on the spacecraft will be out of commission on the return voyage, forcing astronauts to rely on other means. According to Space, he continued, it's a short mission coming home. Blue Origin loses lawsuit. A federal judge on Thursday dismissed Blue Origin's lawsuit challenging NASA's award of a 2.9 billion lunar lander contract to SpaceX, allowing NASA to move forwards with a collaboration with Elon Musk's space company on a craft to take astronauts to the moon's surface. NASA's contract with SpaceX for a human-rated moon landing spacecraft based on the company's Starship Mega Rocket has been delayed for six months. According to the decision, the human landing system is the last major component of NASA's Artemis mission, which intends to return astronauts to the moon's surface. A lawsuit brought by Blue Origin, the space business founded by billionaire Jeff Bezos, challenging NASA's award of the human landing system contract to SpaceX was dismissed by Judge Richard Hurtling of the United States Court of Federal Claims. Blue Origin's lawsuit was dismissed by a judge on Thursday, and Bezos indicated that the company will not appeal the judgment. NASA has stated that it will resume work with SpaceX on the HLS contract, which is referred to as Option A in NASA's procurement language. The space agency stated on April 16th that it had chosen SpaceX's Starship concept over competing bids from Blue Origin and Dynamics for the $2.9 billion HLS contract. NASA said in April that SpaceX SpaceX will self-fund and bear financial risk for more than half of the development and testing of the Starship moon lander. SpaceX is already working on the reusable Starship heavy lift launch system, which will launch the lunar lander into space, then replenish the ship's methane and liquid oxygen tanks over a series of missions, supplying propellant to power engines for the moon's descent and takeoff. Amazon to launch first two internet satellites in 2022. Amazon is preparing to launch into space. Amazon announced on Monday that the first two prototype satellites from Project Kuiper, the e-commerce giant's internet from space effort, will launch in the fourth quarter of 2022. That will formally begin its battle for beaming high-speed internet connections to clients from low Earth orbit alongside SpaceX, Elon Musk's space venture, and OneWeb, among others. It will also serve as a critical design test for the satellites before the business launches thousands more into space. In 2019, Amazon announced its intention to launch a constellation of 3,236 satellites into low Earth orbit. This was Jeff Bezos' second foray into space as the founder and former CEO of Amazon, who also owns the rocket business Blue Origin. A few other corporations are also rushing to provide high-speed internet to governments, other businesses, and consumers in remote areas who are handicapped by the digital divide. Amazon, like SpaceX, 
Gadgets expects to invest $10 billion in the project, which is part of its Gadgets division. However, it has taken longer to get off the ground than SpaceX, whose Falcon 9 rockets have launched almost 2,000 internet-bearing satellites into space for its own enterprise, Starlink. Thousands of customers are testing the SpaceX service for $99 a month with $499 antenna kits. The firms are competing fiercely and their plans have piqued the curiosity of investors and analysts, who expect the constellations to generate tens of billions of dollars in income once fully operational. Now that we've discussed some of the latest news regarding SpaceX and Elon Musk's company, it's now time to get into the real reason we clicked on this video today. Let's delve into the information regarding the Japanese billionaire who ditched a dating show for space, as well as the four astronauts who have just landed back on Earth after 200 days in space. Stay tuned to find out about all this information regarding space and SpaceX. Japanese billionaire Meizawa pulls out of dating show that promised the moon. Yusaku Meizawa, a Japanese fashion billionaire, has withdrawn from a documentary hunt for a partner to accompany him on a trip around the moon with Elon Musk's SpaceX, citing his mixed feelings about taking part. The 44-year-old revealed that he was looking for unmarried women over the age of 20 to compete for the role of his girlfriend in a documentary set to show on streaming service Abima TV. A total of about 28,000 people applied. Meizawa apologized to the candidates and Abima TV personnel in messages to Twitter, where he is Japan's most followed account with more than 7 million followers, saying he is very apologetic about the decision to withdraw. Meizawa, the founder and former CEO of online apparel retailer Zozo 3092T, which he sold to SoftBank Group Corp 9984T last year, is known for launching the huge ideas with a lot of hype, even if they don't always work out. As CEO, he introduced the Zozo Suit, a polka dot bodysuit that allowed users to collect body measurements in order to obtain custom-made clothing, but which proved to be ineffective in practice. He also presented an ambitious global expansion strategy that fell far short of expectations, causing the company's stock price to plummet. Meizawa has promised to provide $9 million to his Twitter followers in a social experiment to test if the payment will make them happier. SpaceX capsule splashes down after astronauts six months on board ISS. Four astronauts in a SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft have successfully splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Florida, bringing an end to a six-month NASA mission atop the International Space Station and a day-long voyage home. After a dramatic re-entry plunge into Earth's atmosphere that was carried live on a NASA webcast, the Dragon vehicle, dubbed Endeavour, parachuted into the sea as scheduled just after 10.30 p.m. EST on Monday. Minutes before splashing down, live thermal video footage recorded a sight of the capsule flashing through the night sky above the gulf like a meteor. The four primary parachutes inflated above the capsule as it drifted down towards the gulf surface, decreasing its speed to around 15 miles per hour, or 24 kilometers per hour, before sinking gently into the calm sea, prompting applause from the flight control center. As a safe splashdown was confirmed, a voice from the SpaceX mission control center in suburban Los Angeles was heard telling the crew, Endeavor on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home to planet Earth. All four astronauts were out of the capsule within an hour, sharing fist bumps with the recovery ship's crew. One of the astronauts said, it's fantastic to be back. The spacecraft began its eight-hour return journey earlier in the day with a 90-minute fly around of the space station, circling the globe 250 miles, or 400 kilometers, aloft, as the crew captured a series of survey images of the orbiting outpost. Over the course of the day, the Crew Dragon performed a series of maneuvers to bring it closer to Earth and align the capsule for its final nighttime descent. The capsule re-entered the atmosphere at around 17,000 miles per hour, or 27,358 kilometers per hour, for a free fall towards the ocean below, propelled by one final firing of its forwards rocket thrusters on a de-orbit burn, during which crew connections were lost for several minutes. There you have it, all the latest and greatest drama and information regarding Elon Musk's company, SpaceX. It is indeed true that a Japanese billionaire left a dating show to embark on a new space journey he was offered. And how amazing is it that the four astronauts have indeed landed safely back on Earth after 200 days in space? Leave a comment below on whether or not you would travel to space if you have the opportunity. Thanks for watching.